It is funny because of the grievous injury the manager suffered. No, he's not really injured. Ah. Oh. How can you be certain? It's not that kind of show. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best TV shows of 2021 so far. What made you want to do a K-pop song? Oh my God, how could you not make a K-pop song in today's era? Are you kidding? All right, let's go. Um, do you want me to get you a toothbrush or a toilet no, trays? No, I'm going to summer camp, baby. I'm going well, to jail. I don't know. What is our online banking password? Baby, I'm not going to yell that on the street. Happy New Year. Margo! What? What did we have? I don't know. What did we have? Come on, you know what we had. You want me to say we had a bond? Yes, I do. We had a bond. Thank you. For this list, we'll be looking at both freshman and returning TV programs that have aired new episodes this year. Note, there will be spoilers. What show has been getting you through 2021? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Pose Season 3. Bowing out after three seasons, Pose made the most of its final eight episodes. The farewell season delivered no shortage of uplifting moments, complete with weddings, reconciliations, and little victories that made all the difference. Baby girl. I'm sorry, shorty looking good today. <laughs> Ain't that right? Of course, some goodbyes were more devastating than others, which is to be expected given the era and subject matter. The heartbreaking moments all feel earned, and every character arc is wrapped up in a dramatically satisfying fashion. Each performer got their moment to shine, with Billy Porter and MJ Rodriguez both scoring Emmy nominations. Rodriguez's nomination proved especially historic, being the first transgender woman to get into the lead acting field. The creators have left the House of Evangelista on a beautiful note, although we'd love an Electra spin-off. I'm more ferocious than any man, especially when it comes to protecting what's mine. Number 9. It's a Sin Many shows have dealt with the rise of HIV and AIDS, but few have been as effective as this miniseries. This is largely thanks to the charming central characters who all win us over within a matter of minutes. I just think it's their son's funeral, for God's sake. Of all the days to have a go. Don't be so pathetic, Richie. We would have gladly followed this lively group over the course of several seasons, which makes it all the more gut-wrenching when one of them dies. But all we want to do is see him and say hello and give him our love. He died yesterday. Yesterday afternoon. Although the cast includes established stars like Neil Patrick Harris, the series belongs to up and comers such as Ollie Alexander, Lydia West, and Callum Scott Howells. Spanning a decade, It's a Sin doesn't shy away from the ignorance and suffering that plagued this epidemic. At its core, though, this inspiring series is about the dedicated friendships that helped a community to endure. They have drugs which they withhold. And they have drugs which they double in price because they see AIDS as a chance to profit. Number 8. I Think You Should Leave with Tim Robinson Season 2 Whether you label it as cringe comedy or surreal comedy, there isn't another sketch series quite like I Think You Should Leave. Pat? He's eating a hot dog. What? He's eating a hot dog under there. Pat, we know you're eating a hot dog. The show deals with the issues we're all familiar with. You know, like trying to sneak a hot dog into a meeting, dealing with a foul-mouthed guest on a ghost tour, and giving to a fake website for urine drop pants. In all seriousness, we don't know where Tim Robinson and company come up with this stuff. I'm worried that the baby thinks people can't change. Shane, can we stop talking about it? Because I've worked really, really hard to change. Ask Mark, he used to be in my Dangerous Nights crew. Dangerous Nights crew? We went out for wings once. All we know is that we cannot stop laughing. All six episodes of season two feature at least one sketch that'll have you rewinding to watch it again. The short runtime only adds to the rewatchability, but we want to see Detective Crashmore in its entirety. Let's talk for a second about the nudity in the film. Was that scary for you as an actor to do? Well, the script called for it. It's an important part of Detective Crashmore's journey. What are we, 10 years old? Number 7. Hacks Season 1 
For over 40 years, Gene Smart has been delivering strong comedic and dramatic performances across multiple media. Time will only tell if Hacks will go down as her career-defining work, but she was born to play Deborah Vance. Oh, yes, that's what I like to hear. With echoes of Joan Rivers, Phyllis Diller, and others, Deborah is a legendary comedian who still never quite got her due. Hacks follows Deborah as she faces the challenges of being a woman in comedy, staying relevant after decades in the game, and being funny. You're forgetting about your third bucket. People from Florida. They love me. And my numbers are strong. You'll still be doing shows, just not Friday and Saturday. Oh, just the most important nights. She does so with the unlikely assistance of a young writer named Ava, played by Hannah Einbinder in a breakout performance. Their dynamic provides insight into how comedy has changed, how it's remained the same, and how it can continue to mature. I had a horrible nightmare that I got a voicemail. What? It's funny because voicemails are annoying. It's like, just text. Number 6. Cobra Kai Season 3 Making the leap from YouTube Premium to Netflix, more audiences were able to catch up with Cobra Kai in time for its third season. Knock it off. I'm on a mission. Uh, what are we supposed to do? Drive around all day looking for a van? No, but hopefully our mutual friend can point us in the right direction. The Karate Kid sequel series continued to deliver its unique mix of teen drama, self-aware comedy, and expertly choreographed martial arts. While longtime fans will appreciate the callbacks to The Karate Kid 2 and the Terry Silver tease, Cobra Kai works as a standalone entity for newcomers. Are you sure you just don't want to show me the scrolls? Now let us see how much you really know. This series is all about finding balance, be it between nature versus nurture, nostalgia versus new ideas, or mercy versus no mercy. Sometimes it takes two polar opposites to build a bridge to something better, which is precisely what makes the rivalry between Daniel and Johnny so compelling and unpredictable. We just want to know what happened to the kid who had it, and then we'll be on our way. On your way to call the cops, like you said. Uh, no, no, no cops, all right? We can work this out. Or not. Number 5. Loki Season 1 Channeling the offbeat style of Terry Gilliam, the thrills of David Fincher, and the bizarre world-building of Rick and Morty, Loki is a Marvel outing unlike any other. On behalf of the Time Variance Authority, I hereby arrest you for crimes against the sacred timeline. Hands up. You're coming with us. I'm sorry, who's us? The series continues to evolve Loki as a character while taking the MCU to bold new places. We're not just talking about the multiverse. Thematically, Loki is a more complex series than some might have anticipated, particularly when it comes to free will versus fate. Why don't we just travel back to before the attack? when the variant first arrives. Nexus events destabilize the time flow. This branch is still changing and growing, so you gotta show up in real time. Did you watch any of the training videos you were supposed to? Season one is full of surprises, but it should come as no shock that Tom Hiddleston once again shines as the god of mischief. Owen Wilson and Gugu Mbatha-Ra turn in some of their best work, but the star-making turns come from Sofia DiMartino as Sylvie and Alligator Loki as Alligator Loki. Why the hell is there an alligator in here? He's, He's a, a Loki. Loki! Number 4. Mayor of Easttown Going through her filmography, you'd be hard-pressed to find a performance from Kate Winslet that's not, at the very least, great. Mayor Sheehan ranks amongst her most transformative performances to date. I saw you on TV this morning, Dawn. You know, if you don't think I'm doing my job, I just wish you'd come with me first. This isn't about you, Mayor. It's about finding my daughter. Mayor, yeah, I know it's that. Not, I do know friend. that, but I'm doing my job, Mayor, Dawn. Mayor. Winslet even went as far as to compare this miniseries' popularity to her Titanic days. For several weeks, the show's overarching murder mystery drew in more and more viewers. Mystery aside, Mayor of Easttown also works as a family drama and character study. Getting that age, right? Forgive me, but I'm like I'm getting to the age where I'm starting to look at my life and I'm going, well, here's what I thought it would be. And here's what it actually is. 
Winslet can't take all the credit either, as the show delivers equally riveting performances from Julianne Nicholson, Evan Peters, and Jean Smart, who's really been on a roll lately. Mom, what do you think? I thought you were wearing the red dress with the, with the thing. I tried, didn't work. No, 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 go, go, go back and try the red dress again. He's at the door. Mom. Oh. Oh, well, in that case, you look great. While we wouldn't say no to a second season, the finale was a harrowing yet hopeful way to close this case. Number 3. Invincible Season 1 2021 is far from over, but we're willing to wager that Invincible has given us the meme of the year. You're fighting so you can watch everyone around you die! Think, Mark! This adaptation of Robert Kirkman's comic series touches upon concepts we've seen before. An adult superhero series with a satirical edge, a teen developing extraordinary powers, an evil Superman-esque figure. Yet Invincible never comes off as overly familiar, which is a testament to the writing and performances. Earth. Yes! Not Urath. No! Is that with an E or a U? E! Oh, I'm in so much trouble. Well, thanks for letting me know. The series tosses as many curveballs as it throws punches. Even when you see a twist coming, it's far more brutal than you could have imagined, and there's always something more shocking on the horizon. The hard-hitting moments are balanced by character-based humor and an animation style that'll take you back to the early days of Saturday morning cartoons. The Guardians of the Globe were more than a group of heroes. Ladies and gentlemen, they were icons. Those of you who pass our trials will be among the elite. Number 2. The Underground Railroad If you haven't read Colson Whitehead's alternate history novel, this limited series might not be exactly what you expect. If you want to see what this nation's all about, you gotta ride the rails. Just look outside as you speed through and you'll see the true face of America. The Underground Railroad catches audiences off guard with its elements of fantasy, but that doesn't mean it sugarcoats the harsh reality of slavery. That said, we wouldn't recommend watching the series in one sitting. The experience can be so emotionally draining that you'll likely need to collect yourself after each episode. I ain't no kind of look. The only kind I had was rotten. The kind that caused a woman to run away in the middle of the night. And leave her only child. Those who can handle the painful moments, though, will be consistently captivated by Barry Jenkins' masterful direction and a stellar ensemble, most notably Tuso Mberu as Cora. While we won't say if there's a light at the end of the tunnel, getting to the final destination will leave the audience with a sense of relief. She's not running to somewhere, just running away. That's good. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. The Handmaid's Tale Season 4. After being stuck in Gilead for so long, this Emmy-winning drama is breaking free. You don't, you don't know where we're going. You don't know if we're going to be okay. I'm keeping us alive. Mythic Quest Season 2. Quite possibly the most underrated comedy on television. I'm seeing castles dripping in antiquity. What? What does that even mean? Something can't drip in antiquity. The castle's either old or it isn't. You can't- Like this. Yes! Yes! That's exactly what I have in my head. Girls 5 Eva, Season 1. The main reason you should give Peacock a chance. No brother or sister, just one little mister. He's just another New York lonely boy. In Treatment Season 4. Further proof that Uzo Aduba can do no wrong. Why do you do that? What? You shut down at the mere mention of the size of your burden. RuPaul's Drag Race, season 13. We're still crying over the Chi Chi Devane tribute. We lost one of our most beloved queens this past year. A beacon of love, talent, and Louisiana glamour. The dazzling Chi Chi Devane. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. WandaVision The Falcon and the Winter Soldier offered the fun we've come to expect from the MCU, but WandaVision broke new ground and the fourth wall. Do you think maybe this is what you deserve? What? You're not supposed to 
talk. For weeks, you couldn't go on social media without coming across theories, recaps, and in-jokes regarding this ambitious miniseries. Although the mystery hooked us in, the sitcom homages, layered performances, and commentary on grief made WandaVision a landmark show for Disney+. Plus. I've never experienced loss because I've never had a loved one to lose. But what is grief, if not love persevering? Even if you never jumped on the Marvel bandwagon, this isn't merely a show for superhero fans. It's a love letter to television, whether you grew up in the early 2000s, 90s, or the black and white era. WandaVision juggles all of these tones while remaining faithful to its MCU roots. Also, we're still singing Agatha all along. Who's been pulling every evil string? It's been Agatha all along. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.